Three, four, five years go by I don't really know why I don't really know why Seven, eight, nine, eleven years go by I don't really know why I don't really know why I still feel Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie and you're watching My Stephiness. Welcome back to my monthly favourites and I have a couple of stuff that I'd like to share with you for the month of April that I've been loving so if you want to know some of these stuff then stay tuned. First thing that I've really been loving is this Kent brush and it's um, the number NS01 Kent brush um, and it has really great synthetic bristles. I've been loving this brush. Um, it's really great. Um, I usually use this to brush through my hair every day now. Um, it's great for straight hair or even to brush through curls. So, yep, I've been loving this. You can get this at any Watson's. I got this from Watson's. I forgot the price of this. Um, but yep, yeah, it's not too pricey for a Kent brush because Kent is really well known for brushes. So yep, yeah, I've been loving this hairbrush. And I've also been loving these beauty products. Um, the first thing I'll talk about is the Sigma Flat Definer Eye Brush. This is the E15. And I got this from Luxola.com. Um, this is one of their newer brushes and I really love the flat thin tip of this brush. It's really great to basically blend out any eyeliner, any cream base shadow. Um, even for the lips, it's great for lipstick as well to apply lipstick and blend. So I really love this brush and I'm glad that I got this to add to my eye brushes collection. And I've also been loving this Bobbi Brown Concealer and the one I have for my shade is in Natural Pale Yellow. It's really great because it comes like that with a cream based um, concealer here and a powder that has a lighter tone. So I usually don't apply this with a brush, I find it most convenient and most easily applied with my fourth finger. I just rub it in and dab it and pat it into my face. So yeah, I think this is one of the best concealers so far that I've ever used. It is pretty pricey here in Singapore. It's $60 just for this small thing. So yeah, I hardly use it. I use it only like on special occasions because it's really expensive and I don't want to run out so fast. So yep, I absolutely love this concealer and if you do have a chance to try out Bobbi Brown's concealer, you really should because they come in so many different shades. I'm pretty sure there's one out there for everybody. So yep, I've been loving this. So the next thing I've been loving is this lipstick by Maybelline. It's the Bold Matte series and the one I have here is in Sugar Pink. And I love the packaging because it looks like the Jewel collection but the packaging is all matte. And this color, Sugar Pink, I don't know why they call it Sugar Pink because when you apply it, it's actually a lot more orangey, coral-ish. Yeah, so it's a more um, bold orange matte finish as opposed to a pinkish finish. So I'm not sure why they call it Sugar Pink but I do have it on my lips right now and you can see how pigmented it is. I absolutely love this color, I think it's really great for spring or summer and I'm really excited to wear this out more often because I'm in love with this shade and I haven't had one of this so I'm glad that I got this. The next thing I've been loving is my Ray-Ban shades. It's brand new. This is actually a gift from my dancers. Um, I choreographed a few items for my dance production earlier. Um, if you want to know more about those updates, you can check my previous videos. But yep, um, they actually got me this as a choreographer gift and I absolutely love it. I um, collect Ray-Bans and Aviators. I already have three of them and most of them are actually the typical triangular shaped ones but I thought that I would give this a try. Um, this is the wider um, shaped Ray-Bans. So yep, I love them. Let me put them up for you. I've been wearing them every day, so thank you so much, girls. So that concludes um, my beauty fashion favorites for this month. Um, so yep, I'm gonna move on to something more random. Like, I have really been loving this board game. And if 
some of you don't know, I actually do play board games. I play board games with Deo. If you see my Instagram, we have been playing this game. And it's called Tolkien the Mayan Calendar. I don't really know how to pronounce this. It's a really fun game for two to four people to play. And I've been playing this with Deo. And um, I'm still kind of getting used to the game rules. But basically, it's about collecting and harvesting corn and then using your resources like wood and stone and gold to like get your character to higher levels and gain victory points, you know, the basis of board games is to gain victory points, right? I actually really love board games and I told Deo before that, you know, um, it might be interesting to do like a board game review channel because I don't really see much of that around, especially in Singapore. Um, so yeah, you know, if you think that that's a good idea and you'd like to know um, what are great board games out there and some of the reviews on the games that we already have, what's recommended, what's fun, what's good for parties, what's good for small gatherings, then you know, just let me know in the comment boxes below and I'll try to convince Deo to start a channel on board game reviews. So yep, this is my favorite. If you play board games, you should get this because it's really fun. And the last thing that's on my favorites this month is food. Not really food, it's cake. So if some of you have seen my Instagram, I've been craving my Swiss roll cake. It's the traditional butter cake with buttercream in it and it's sold like in all the local bakeries in Singapore and I absolutely love this one. It's really cheap. It's like one entire lot of a Swiss roll cake for like four bucks and I love it. You can get it at Bengawan Solo, you can get it at Ijia at Thompson Road. Yep, I got this from Ijia at Thompson Road and I absolutely love this cake. I've been eating it every day and these are the last two slices so don't mind me. Mm, it's so good. Healthy. So we've come to the end of my April favorites. I will leave um, the details of all the products that I mentioned in the description box below. And do leave me any comments if you want to know more about any of the products. And yep, do a thumbs up for more videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!